The high holidays are here, and most of us will go to synagogue. Some of us will sit there for hours, counting the pages, or maybe watching the clock until it's over. How do we make the prayer experience more meaningful? How do we really connect to what we're reading? Let me tell you a story. There's a British poetry contest, and the auditorium is packed with people coming to hear the finest poetry read in the most sophisticated and refined Queen's English accents. At the event, each contestant read their beautiful poems. And then the final contestant takes the stage, a young man in his early 20s. He puts on a tremendous display of talent, reading with full passion, Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He is incredible. The audience erupts in applause. It's obvious to everyone there that his performance is by far the best recital. But as the cheering quiets down and the room grows silent, one old Jew from Eastern Europe, sitting in the back of the room, speaks up with a heavy Yiddish accent. He says, can I try? Now officially, anyone is allowed to perform at this British poetry contest. So the old Jewish man slowly gets up on stage and he begins to recite each word with tremendous emotion and sincerity. Mizmar le David, Hashem ro'i. God is my shepherd, lo echzar, I shall not want. He continues, Gam ki elech begeitzamaves. Although I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. The audience is mesmerized drinking in every word, one by one. And the old Jewish man pierces the hearts of the audience. There isn't a dry eye in the place. He finishes and the room is completely silent. The judges award the trophy to the young man in his 20s. And he then turns to the old European Jew and he says, take it, you really deserve this. The old man says, no, what are you talking about? I didn't even really enter the contest. It doesn't matter. The trophy's yours. Just please tell me one thing. We both read the same psalm. Why is it that when I finished, they cheered and applauded, but when you finished, they cried? I'll explain it to you. He said, when you recited the psalm, you were reading about the Lord, who's your shepherd. When I recited the psalm, I was conversing with the shepherd. The key to transforming our prayers during the high holidays is not merely about reciting them, but to appreciate that you're actually speaking to the creator of the universe and he's listening to our every word. This transforms the prayer services from reading about God to having a meaningful conversation with God about your family, your children, your health, your job, your life direction, your wants and your needs. This year, before the high holidays, take a few minutes to collect your thoughts. Take a piece of paper and divide it into three columns. Column one, make a list of all the people who are ill, who are facing challenges in their lives. Column two, make a list of all the things you need God's help with. And column three, make a list of all the blessings in your life that you're thankful for. And then turn to the Almighty and share it with Him in a personal conversation. And this year, may we all have a happy, healthy, sweet new year.